Hey guys, today I have a best products of 2016 video. I know it's a little late, it's like almost the middle of January, but I really want to do this video, okay? And I was sidetracked, but I don't have too many products to show you, so it shouldn't be that long. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you will probably recognize a lot of these products. Um, but they will be listed and linked for you down below in case you miss anything. Um, yeah, and also in the comments below, make sure to tell me what your favorite products of 2016 were because I would love to get some good recommendations, suggestions. Yeah, also, um, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell thing, you'll be notified. Okay, you know all that stuff. I don't have something in every category, but I have in most categories. For the first thing, a lot of people have mentioned this, and mine's really gross. I have like four and they're all really gross but this is the Real Techniques um, complexion perfecting beauty sponge or something like that um, this is just like the beauty blender it's great if you don't want to spend $19 on a beauty blender you can get a pack of two of these for 15 or one for eight and these are great they don't last and as long as beauty blenders like they're not as durable but they're still really great for the price and by far the best mock like beauty blender type makeup sponge that I have seen in my days. Also, everyone has talked about these, but these are the new L'Oreal foundations. Um, this is the Infallible Pro Matte and this is the Pro Glow. Um, it depends what I'm feeling that day, what I'm going to wear, but these are both really good drugstore foundations and I use these pretty much every day. Um, I have a darker color here for when I'm tanner and then this is my lighter color and I've been mixing them. But, um, yeah, depending on your skin type, definitely try one of these out. Um, I think that they're like 12-ish dollars, so not too bad. And I really like how they're like the squeezy tubes because you can get all the product out pretty much and you're not wasting anything. And it's about, it's like medium, like coverage, um, but you can definitely build it up too. And I think that they last for a long time on your skin. Okay, for concealer, I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer. I also like the squeeziness because you can get all of it out, as I said. I have the color Neutral Medium, and I don't use this only for under my eyes. I also use it on my blemishes um, and scars and stuff like that. If you want to try this out, I would suggest getting the sample size. Um, I think I have one in here. Yeah. So here's the sample size, and it's really cute. But there's still like so much product in here, so definitely get a travel size if you want to try it out first. Okay, for another It Cosmetics product, I have, I lost this little cat part. And this is just a travel size, but it's lasted me like all year. This is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Brow Pencil. They only have one color in this, and that might be a problem for a lot of people. Um, but it works for me. I have it on right now, and I really like the shape of the pencil thing. And it stays on all day for me, and I just really like it. For powder, I have these Cody Airspun powders. That's backwards. Cody Airspun powders, these are really inexpensive. I think you can get them from, like, Walmart or online. But um, this is the luminous one, and this is just the plain translucent one. Um, but I really like these a lot. I use these every day, and I, like, haven't even made a dent. They give you so much powder, and I think they're, like, $8. And they are great to use with wet, with damp sponges or even brushes. So contour and highlight, I have two palettes. Um, I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Um, I love this so much and mine is like really dirty right now. <laughs> but um, this is great. And so it has three different contour shades and then three different highlighting shades. This is also really good if you do a lot of makeup on other people because these are different like tones um, and obviously like darknesses. So at least one of these will probably look good on whoever you're doing makeup on. And this is just a great palette and I really like the packaging because it's just like sleek and really easy to travel with. And then I also have the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I, this was limited edition so I feel like I shouldn't be showing this but it just has three highlighter or two highlighters and a blush. But just overall, oh my, just overall Becca highlighters, I have one here that's opal, um, and I hit pretty big pan on it, but their highlighters I think are like the best in the game. I have an Anastasia Glow Kit, and I have numerous other highlighters, and I think Becca just does it the best. They're not flaky, and they're not like big chunks of glitter, they're just really pretty. Um, I have opal on right now. For eyeshadow I have a standout palette that I got 
um, I want to say in like January of 2016 and it's the Lorac Mega Pro palette. I got this off of I think it was either Amazon or eBay um, because it was limited edition but this is the only like Lorac palette that I have. I got it for like a sale and I thought it was going to be like a knockoff like janky thing but it wasn't um, but it has I've hit pan on like four eyeshadows but um I really like this palette a lot and I just take it if I'm going to be somewhere for a long time traveling or something like that so ah okay and then also uh just basic classic palettes are the naked basics palettes this is naked like one and this is the naked two um, so the Naked one is just classic, like ascending, they're both like ascending to darkness. Um, the, this one's a little bit more cool toned, but I really like these a lot for traveling. Um, and yeah, so these are really good palettes, especially if you're just starting off with makeup. Um, I think they're like $40, maybe $35. Um, but yeah, these are really good. So for liners, I didn't really have any like stand out like liquid liners or anything just because I don't really wear a lot of liquid liner but I do have a nude liner and this is the NYX Wonder Pencil um, it's just a nude liner and I use this for my waterline and also to um, trace under my brows but this um, is really great and it's like three dollars and you can also line around your lipstick um, and it can help like make your line super sharp or under your wing. You can just do a lot of stuff with this, but I mostly use it for my waterline. Moving on, I don't have a mascara really, um, just because I'm not really a mascara person, but I do have two lip products, and the first one is the Smith's Rosebud Lip Salve. Uh, this is my favorite chapstick probably. I do use Carmex a lot just because it's like cheap. This isn't expensive, but it's not as cheap as Carmex, but it's really great and I like how it's squeezy. I know that they used to have a pot like this, like this is the Frizzy Beauty Ultra Intensive Lip Balm, which is also really good. Um, but they used to have a pot and I just never got it because I don't really like pots that much. Um, but I do like this squeezy thing and it's great. For lipstick, this is definitely my all-time favorite lipstick. I wear it all the time and it's what I'm wearing right now. And this is the Anastasia Liquid Lip in Crush. It is the just perfect like your lips but better color on me you can see I'm obviously wearing it but I really like the formula of these because they're kind of moussey and um, they're not super drying I have really dry lips and these don't irritate me at all but um, if they happen to like annoy me or they get really dry I can put lip balm over it and it doesn't like ruin it so Yes, Anastasia Liquid Lips are the best. I have two more products that aren't makeup products, but I thought that I should show them anyway. And the first one is a skincare product. And this is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. Um, mine's like almost gone, like the liquid in it. It's basically a pink clay and a liquid. And I spilt mine, so like all my liquid's gone, so I need to like figure out what I can do to save it. But it's supposed to be separated and you're not supposed to shake it and you dip a q-tip through the liquid into the clay and before bed or if you're not doing anything all day you just put it on your active acne and it helps dry it out um, it's definitely a spot treatment though because it does dry you out but um, I think that it works very well okay the next thing is the shimmer lights shampoo and conditioner this is purple shampoo and conditioner I get my hair done my roots are my natural color all this dark part is my natural color I don't get highlights up to my roots um, just because I don't want to deal with like you know the like upkeep so basically all like the lower blonde right here is fake <laughs> fake blonde but um, my hair even my hairstylist have told, has told me my hair wants to go yellow very quickly and I'm not really looking for like the gray silver hair but I do want a more cool tone blonde and this helps so much this is so potent I use it like one to three times a week and um, it's basically a purple shampoo that cancels out the yellow tones um, but if you leave it in your hair too long your hair will turn like white or purple so you kind of have to be careful but I think that this works really well and um, there's definitely probably demos on YouTube like 
really showing you before and after. But yeah, those are all the products that I have to show you today. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, 2016 was a great year for me, and I know this is like a little late to give the speech, but I want to thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking my videos and supporting me and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. If you're not already, make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my social media. Uh, if I'm not posting on YouTube, then I'm posting on Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter. Um, so you can keep up with me on there. Everything's down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.